What is up everybody? My name <laughs> My name is Fizzle Me Dizzle and welcome back to another video. So anyways Today we're playing some of this Agatha Agatha Knife. Psychotics Agatha's Psychotics Knife? Uh, no, it's Psychotics uh, Agatha Knife. <laughs> it sounds like a weird name, but I don't know what it's about, so Let's go right into this stuff. I am super excited, man. Okay. That's me, Agatha. I'm seven years old and I can't sleep. Whew. Sounds like me, except for I'm not seven years old. My mom has a butcher's shop. Oh. And I really like animals. So at night, I go to the butchers to talk and play with them. Oh boy. Later, I kill them and carve them up. Oh gosh. So mom can tell their, sell their meat the next day. I love being the town butcher. Because I can be close to the animals and their meat. Lamb chops, sirloin steaks, <laughs> pork loins, chicken thighs. <laughs> I love eating meat, but I feel bad. I see that my friends, the animals, are scared of me when they see my knives. <laughs> it makes me sad. That's not all. I've been... I, I've got another problem. Lately, we have had... We haven't had many customers. And my mom is getting worried. She says that things don't get... That if things don't get better... <laughs> let's do that as the mom's voice. We'll have to close the shop. A sad face. I need to think of something where I won't be able to play with the animals anymore and I'll have to give up eating meat. Today my mom is going to the church to pray. She says it might help things get better. I'm going with her to see what it's like. Maybe it will help me think of solution to my a solution to my problems. This is rubbish. I can't really read the handwriting very well. <laughs> Mom, this is so boring. I'm going to take take a look around. Okay, but if you leave the church, don't go too far. Let's see what's around here. wonder what I do this is my bag the couple of things which I of things which I carry always carry with which I always carry with me <laughs> like my keys and a USB memory stick when you need a, a rest just use the key and we'll go back to the main menu okay if you want to save save what does that say our progress use the USB memory stick although whenever we enter a new place our progress will be saved automatically I also have a big pocket where I'll store everything we pick up along the way. Ah, uh, before I forget. If you want, I can talk to you like this instead. Oh, that's better. You can choose whichever option is best. After all, everyone has their own taste. 
there are even people that like eating fish. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, I had something in my eye. That sucks. Although, they're probably not quite right in the head. Anyways, anyway, you have a couple of options to choose from. This one, or this one. Uh, that one. Okay, we'll continue like this. Don't worry, if you want to change it later, you just go to the main menu and check the options. Anyways, let's, let's do our stuff. Gave me this USB a long time ago. My USB. He's shouting that everything is my fault, is our fault, and the Lord is get, is going to punish us. I'm not sure what he's talking about. Don't worry about it, young lady. Tell me. Well, nothing really. Just that I saw you in the front row, and I guess you'd be enjoying that man has what what that man has to say. And as I don't really get get what's going on, I thought you'd explain it to me. Don't you know Reverend Bleak's story? Hmm, no. Well, he. Well, it is really a magnet, marvelous story. Let's just get this, get this, um, this chick's voice in high, high expectations, man. Okay, marvelous story. Reverend Bleak is the Time Lord's messenger. He's traveled through a time portal an infinite number of times. And every time he comes back from one of his journeys, he brings us some cheese and new th threat from our lord. Threat? Or threat? Th treat? I don't know. Does he bring back the cheese from every journey? Your lord... Your lord sends you threats? Okay. We all mis make mistakes and the, the time lord knows. But he can't forget if it was just out of kindness of his heart. We have to pray for our sins. And that's why the, he sends the cheese. I'm not sure what to think of that story, ma'am. <laughs> it does not make much sense. We we have to listen in some we have to believe in something, my dear. We are a couple a couple of old ladies for whom is life is coming to an end, and we don't want to spend our last days in spiritual agony spiral a of agony. Agony! I've been trying to say this word for like two seconds, man. Okay, worrying that we are going to disappear forever. So we came here and looked for some inner peace. I really suck at this this voice stuff. <laughs> and Reverend Bleak gives it to us. Although first we have to buy cheese, of course. Ah, by the way, you should also buy cheese. So the Time Lord will for- <laughs> I'm trying to- I'm trying to read this and do the voice at the same time, but it's so weird. So the Time Lord will forgive us- Forgive you for not believing in him. I don't see the point in that. Buying a piece of cheese isn't going to make me believe that story. Nonsense! Take this money. Buy a candle from the Faith Dispenser. Over there, and light it for the Time Lord. He'll definitely forgive you then. Do 
do it for me? Well... 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 <laughs> it'll make you... If, if it'll make you feel better. Yes, if you wouldn't mind. Here you go. I hope the Time Lord lights up your life with his threats. What? Yep, whatever you say. <laughs> What should I say? Uh, I don't remember what we're doing here. Hey mom, remind me why we came here. Well, the butchers isn't doing very well. So I thought we could come to the church and pray and see if it helps. Pray? What's that? You'd like to keep up work, keep working at the butchers, right? Yes, of course. Well, I think about that really hard, and maybe I'll come bring the, our customers back. Are you listening to the ceremony? No, not really. I just, I just pray that the bushes picks up. I don't even know who the guy doing the shouting is. Well, get the customers back, Mom. Trust me. We'll get the customers back, Mom. Trust me. Soon, we'll have lots of animals. The, the abatory? Tor. And the counter will be packed full of good fresh meat, just like before. Thank you, Agatha. Agatha, you're my favorite daughter. Oh, do I have any siblings? No! Ah! I'm going. I'm going. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Okay, I'll be right here. Dispenses. Faith? To the granny, this machine is possessed. Looks like it's only worth works with money. Okay, yeah, stupid story. Okay. Well, anyways, guys and gals, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow, and yeah. As always, safe sailing, and have a great day. Bye!